Okay, so I'm going to show you a quick demo about of how to apply color street nail strips. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to do is your package will come with a nail prep pad. This is simply an alcohol pad. You can use any alcohol pad you want, but your your kit will come with one. And so the first thing you do is just to make sure that your hand your nails themselves don't have lotions or oils or grease from anything you've been eating or whatever. Um, and so you just take this and just wipe it all over your nails. Um, it's also a good idea to wash your hands beforehand. And actually, before this step, for sure, you're going to want to prep your nails. Push back your cuticles, file them to the shape that you want them. If you have um, nail top ridges, like I do, you take a buffer block and um, kind of buff those out so that you have a smooth nail. Um, so then after that's done, you wash your hands and just do this alcohol pad real, real quick. Then you're going to love how simple this is. I'm going to show you with this. This is Shangri-La. It is a holographic, sorry, that's a little too much light, kind of a holographic clear cover. So all you're going to do, this is a, a Tuzi sample, and when you get a full-size package, there are 16 of these double-ended strips in varying sizes. And um, so you just tear open this sealed plastic and pull out the strip. And it's so easy, you're going to pull it apart. I know this one's going to fit the nail I want. Let me see if I remove this light, if that helps. Oh, it kind of does. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to just show you with this one on my finger. If you look closely, you'll see this purple tab, right? You're just going to remove that. It's just clear. Then the nail polish is on a paper backing. So you're going to take this silver tab, see if I can separate that out, and you're just going to pull it. Now I just have wet paint in my hands, 95% dry. But I yank on that little tab, and I have in my hand two different cuticles that I can choose from to put on my fingernail. So this one's kind of round, so I'm going to try and do this like in a mirror here. But you're just going to want to stick it on your nail, being careful not to get it on this lower cuticle or on your side cuticles, but especially your lower cuticle. If you mess up, you can gently pull it off and try again. I'm just going to do this facing myself for a second. Okay. <laughs> then you just kind of just give it a good rub all over the surface. And then all you do is you're going to take your thumbnail and you're going to just peripherate under the tip of your nail and pull. Now I have a beautifully smooth manicured fingernail. And if you want to be extra careful, you can use the other end. I folded it. There's plenty in there. You don't need to try to save them or anything because you have 10 fingers and there are 32 cuticle ends because 16 double-ended strips. So that is how you apply it. Let me just make sure I said everything that I wanted to say. Oh, some people, once they're done, oh, I didn't. Okay, this is really important. If you are going to do a manicure, you want to do all eight fingers and then your thumbs because you're using your thumbs and you don't want to push the pliable paint, you know. So these are your last. And then if you're going to do a manicure and a pedicure with one set, which is really easy to do, um, especially if you use the two ends, um, you're going to want to do four fingers because they're the ones that are the most important to fit perfectly. Then you're going to do all ten toes, saving aside your nail, your thumbnail ones, then your thumbnails for the same reason. So you don't want to do your feet first because then you might end up going to your manicure and being like, oh, I used the size I need that would actually work best for this finger on my feet. So four fingers first, ten toes, two thumbs. Okay, that's the order you want to do it in. Um, Okay. Oh, if if you have um, 
like sometimes when you break it off, it, it's got like little flyaways or whatever. You just take your nail file and perfect it by just kind of going downward, not side to side, but just downward. And then it's like all the way cured in about like a half an hour. I like to put them on right before bed because then it can cure all night long. It's pretty awesome. And so I would like you to check out the party link and comment below with your favorite nail art design. So you'll see sections, you'll see nail art design. Click on it, look through them. I want to know the name of your favorite.